What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, White Boy 7 Street, and welcome to a full gameplay commentary on Black Ops 3 Domination Ground War on the map Hunted. We're going to be using the BRM LMG in this gameplay, and in this video I want to give my thoughts and opinions on Black Ops 3. A lot of people have been curious what the Call of Duty GOAT thinks about this game, and I am going to lay it down for you. But really quick, I want to talk about this BRM with the silencer and grip attachment because as you guys know I love the LMGs in this game they are one of the best sets of weapons in the game and they're very versatile because you're very mobile with them they give you that extra benefit of having extended magazines pretty much by default they have none of the negative effects that they used to in previous CODs with them being clunky or slow Yes, reloading takes a little bit, but that's the only downfall of using an LMG. And I gotta say, with this BRM, the recoil, I don't know if it was the grip or the silencer or, or a combination of the two, but at a distance in previous Call of Duties, any gun with the silencer did not perform to what you expected it to. But this BRM, it melts people with the silencer, and you have the benefit of uh, staying off the minimap. And if you play like I play, be tricky like I am in this gameplay. Stay with your little head glitches or your little clipping spots where they can just see a little bit of you. And with that recoil on the BRM, you gotta take them out before they can line up a shot on you. So I really highly recommend trying this out. And I also gotta say, I, I switched up this class a little bit. I had a pistol as a secondary weapon, but if you guys notice, I am using the combat focus specialist and what that does is well active it's active for like 30 seconds you get i believe double or one and a half your score streak while while it's active so say you get a kill instead of getting 25 points you get 50 points so it's very good if you know there's got to be this epic moment or you know you got to capture a flag activate that and you can get your score streak super fast and pretty easy one thing i like to do is when i have my specialist ready and i see there's a few uavs in the air you put that combat focus on take out your launcher it's so easy to lock on to aircraft in this game and shoot them down you take three uavs out with your specialist on and you're going to get your uav plus whatever uh, score streak you got now i'm using the wrath or the talon and i'm user controlling it and i gotta say this is one of the f most fun moments i've ever had in black ops 3 so far it's but it was really exciting to mow these people down and one tip i will give if you want to user control the talon and this worked in black ops 2 with the dragon fire they're very similar weapons just go to the floor be a land shark people don't expect things to fly on the floor and it really works and you're a lot less vulnerable than you are when you're like 15 feet in the air, just pretty much an easy target. Anyways, let's talk about Black Ops 3 and what I think about it. I think it is the best Call of Duty since Black Ops 2. I don't know if it's better than Black Ops 2, because Black Ops 2 was pretty impressive for being on the PlayStation 3. But I will say it's way better than Advanced Warfare, it's way better than Ghost, and I think this game has got to be great for the Call of Duty community, and I see it being good for competitive, I see a lot of casual people enjoying this game and I think it's good for COD so that makes me very very happy and I'm excited they still got some work to do with party games and little things like that but I think this has got to be a good year for Call of Duty and that makes me excited now personally I'm not having a, a super swell time on the game maybe that's because I'm still trying to learn that I shouldn't jump out into the middle of these alleyways with my BRM and there's moments like this where you can't really uh there's nothing you can do against the gravity spikes. Those are kind of frustrating sometimes. That was one of my only two deaths in this half. But anyways, I am... I, I said a good thing about Call of Duty. And I'm not going to be, oh, Call of Duty's all flowers and rainbows. Eh. No, let, let's be honest. Let's be real. This is why I didn't take the money from Activision. So I can I, be, I can be real and tell you guys my, my actual thoughts and, and real opinions on the game. And, and not... Uh, some bullshit, phony, hocus-pocus, uh, so I make the game look better. I am very frustrated at the score streaks, and I don't know how idiotic Call of Duty developers are. I don't know if they're just stupid and they don't understand what makes COD enjoyable for a lot of people, but it's the score streaks, and none of the score streaks are super fun to use. I got in the talent right there. 
I loved using the Talon. I thought that was pretty fun, and I would be very interested in letting the comment section be open to a discussion on what score streaks are actually satisfying to use because a lot of them are you just call them in and forget about them. Like the sentry gun is not only really difficult to get in, in this game, and that's another frustrating thing. Like score streaks, I wish they would just lower them by like 15 to 25%. They seem just a little bit too much for like a sentry gun. A UAV in team deathmatch is like five, six kills. Like what? Are you serious? But, and then you can shoot it down within seconds. So that's a, that's a little frustrating how how easy the, the score streaks are to shoot down. And even though they might be difficult to get, they're so much easier to shoot down. It literally takes no skill whatsoever to shoot down aircraft. And I don't think there, it should take skill. I think it just should take the, the effort to look up into the sky. But I remember back in the old CODs when you could control your score streaks and that was like the main thing that people would look up to the sky to try to shoot your your AC-130 down, but you had the opportunity to counter them and shoot a missile at them and, and kind of trade. So maybe that's just me being an old COD fanboy and knowing that the AC-130 was so superior to any score streak that they added recently i mean the load star was really cool i wish they would have brought a, a load star back they would they, they could have brought any fun score streak back but they i think they kind of refused to for for some unforeseen reason maybe there'd be dlc we can only hope and pray but that's enough about the score streaks and I, i'm so passionate about the score streaks like i said that's what makes call of duty call of duty that's what we play for and i miss the feeling of of suspense and i guess you still get this feeling in, in this game when you're really close to your score streak but i loved being on a nine kill streak and then there's t i have to get two kills with my gun to get the ac 130 and then the pressure's on and then when you do get the ac 130 you're just even that more excited to rain down this this destruction and there's that fun factor missing in this game but i will say i love the movement I love the specialists. They took those from Destiny. They took it from Titanfall. They did a way, way better job. <laughs> okay, I mean, I, I still got to improve on my movement a little bit. <laughs> that was embarrassing. But anyways, now another thing that makes COD COD, it's just not the, the score streaks, right? That is a big part of the multiplayer. But one thing I think that makes Call of Duty Call of Duty is the responsiveness, the movement, and the gun fighting now i i like the movement i like the responsiveness i'm not in love with the gun fighting because there are a few moments that that make me sus suspicious of call of duty and their engine and their leg compensation for example i'll give a perfect example i was kind of raging i wasn't enjoying cod a as much this multiplayer game it wasn't going my way. You know, I was going to lose anyway, or there's no point of finishing it out. I put down my controller for a little bit. I check my Facebook or whatever. And then I come back mid-game, and there's this guy, like, who runs into this room in front of me, and he begins to shoot me. So I, I pick up my controller mid-gunfight, and I get a hit marker on him. Now, this was offensive to me. I should have not even got a hit marker on him. I should have died. But there's this Call of Duty, everybody special bullshit that's going on in the background in the in the code that gave that gave me a chance, which I was AFK in a room and I pick up the controller and turn on somebody and as they're shooting me and I get a hit marker. There's no way that should happen. That guy should have killed me. And that's that. But in Call of Duty over the last few years, there's been this bullshit hocus pocus in the background when you're fighting people and when you're getting into gun engagements. Don't tell me I'm crazy. Please, let me know in the comments down below if you experience this as well. But you're, you're getting into gunfights, right? And on your screen, you know you put four shots into him and he should be dead. But you look at the kill cam and you only hit him once and you're dead 
by the time there's even the second shot going off. And there's no way, how is it on your screen that you can shoot four bullets, but when you look at the kill cam, you only shoot two. There's obviously something going on there, and I I don't know what it is, but I think they need to, to, to fix that. So I didn't do too good this second half. I think I was 22 and two in the first half, and then I'm 27 and 11. So, you know, it, 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 that goes to show. I mean, I wasn't playing as good at, on the second half. I think I was getting myself into some peculiar situations. But at the same time, I, I there's something fishy. Let me know if you guys feel the same way. I, I think overall, I like this COD. I think it's gonna be a great year for COD. And it's gonna be interesting. Battlefront versus, versus this game. I wonder what's gonna